from Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. You're watching MLB Network. Ought to be a good one here between the Colorado Rockies and the Chicago White Sox. It's interleague baseball on MLB Network. Now batting, Charlie Blackman. He will lead this one off today. Take off for Colorado. The right fielder, number 19, Charlie Blackman. Here comes the first pitch. And afternoon oh, baseball on MLB on Network block. is underway. Past history with Lucas Giolito. He's one for three. And oh. now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon. 2-0 and now. Should be a picture perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. The 2 1 home. Pulled toward right center field. Moving under it. Engel. He's got it one away. And that brings in the power exactly hitting shortstop, Trevor shortstop. Story. Trevor Story. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This ball will be chopped foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Fastball just inside. The 2 1 home. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And into bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl. First offering on its way. Close there but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. a little too far in ball two shoots this one over to first oh it takes a nasty hop and he's unable to haul it in the run is in to score and they take an early one nothing lead here's Nolan Arenado fast history with Lucas Giolito he's a perfect three for three he's taken him deep once he's set here it comes and he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Behind 0-2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And on 0-2, and he misses with a fastball. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. The 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. So that the bases are clear now following the, the home base, run. And here comes the first Daniel baseman, Daniel Murphy. Murphy. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Here's Ryan McMahon now. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. McMahon. From the stretch. Fastball too high and it's 1-0. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. 
Engel is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Standing in, Rymel Tapia, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Into the box, Leori Garcia. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom half of the first. The right, stop, the right fielder, Leori. First pitch Garcia. coming, here it is. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. And it's one and one. Two and one count to the Pale Hose leadoff hitter. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. And that misses ball four. So that's just what you hope for here in the first. Base runners as you try to claw back into this one. Not shortstop. Here. Anderson. First offering on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The 1 0. There we go. Straight called. Now the throw down. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Garcia leads off second with nobody out. One and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. He'll try it again, three and two. Count remains full. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And this pitch misses here as well. Back to back walks now, but at least that'll put the force back in order here. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Previous history with Herman Marquez. He's two for three. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The 0-2 once more is a slider that misses below the zone. Boy, that's a great take right there. He might have been frozen by that pitch, but it missed by just enough to give him life in this A-B. The 1-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. 
So first and second with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former the top baseman. prospect as a minor leaguer, Yohan Moncada. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Swing and a miss at the bender, and it's even at one and one. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. And he struck him out. So two on with two away. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Number 74. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. Two balls and no strikes to the White Sox left fielder. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the inning as that misses that for good. ball four. The catcher at the plate, James McCann. Previous history with Herman Marquez. He's hitless in three at bats. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. The 0 1 offering. Strike two called on the inner half. 0 and 2 now. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. Here's Yonder Alonso. He'll start things he out against Colorado. Lucas Giolito as we get the inning leader. underway. Yonder. One of the keys to securing Alonso. a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh Oh, and two to Alonzo. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. To one and two now. The one-two. The bouncer to the left side. Moncada gloves it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Now with the play, Tony gone. Walters. The catcher, number 14, Tony Walter. First delivery to him on the way. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Two and one. Love the pitch call there. 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Jimenez is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. For like Bueller, number nine. So it's back to the top of the order Charlie. now, and in the bat next, the big time RBI man Charlie Blackman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count, the pitch. Line shot to third, and the side is retired.
Up next for Chicago, Matt Skoll. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home is laid off for ball two. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. 3-0 to him now. The 3-0. Finds the zone, strike one. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Sliding into the box, Gilmer Sanchez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Curveball taken a little high. No, that curveball stayed up in the zone. You'll see that often early in the game where a pitcher's trying to find that release point, particularly with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see if he's able to settle down as this game moves on. Two and two the count. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Full count, three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. Pulled toward right center field. Blackman on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So Batting digging done. in now, Adam Engel. No previous fielder. history with Herman Adam. Marquez. He's a 333 Engel. hitter. First offering on its way. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now. 0 and 2. Engel, an Ohio native. He was selected in the 19th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Ready with another 0 2. Fastball well outside. The one two misses ball two. Skull, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Right fielder. So coming to the plate, Leori Garcia. He drew a walk his first time up. He's set and the pitch. Now here's the drive out to right center field. And this one will bounce into the wall. And the runner is in from second. The relay. And he's in there with a two-run triple. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Oh, one pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. Oh, and two. Hard liner to center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. So a runner on second with one down now. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And that's going to break our tie as the runner scores from second to make it a 4-3 ball game. Now batting. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at-bat. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. This lineup has a chance to knock this guy right out of the game. Four runs in the inning, and they smell blood. Boy, Dero, you hit the nail right on the head right now. This is a team that can score some runs. They have a pitcher that's reeling right now. They need to knock him out and knock him out ASAP. Tapia is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. The battle. Number Into the box four. now, Emo Jimenez. He drew a base on balls his first time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball on the first pitch and it's taken for strike one. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Fouled away. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of... Payoff pitch one more time. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Digging in, Trevor Story. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Trevor Story. First pitch on its way. And that misses ball one. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Abreu is there. One down. Digging in for his second at-bat, David Dahl. He came through with an RBI Dahl. single in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Hey, that's a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Unless they're willing to bend their legs and get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point right now. Line towards center field, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. 
ready to take his hacks again. Nolan Arenado as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Ball one. Ball one. Dahl stands at first with one out. A ball and two strikes now. The one two misses for the second ball. Doesn't offer at the circle change there and it goes full three and two. Daniel Murphy will be next. The next three two just hung in there on that one. The next three two and a fastball misses their ball four. Here's Daniel Murphy now as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. One and one to the Rockies first baseman. He ties him up with a fastball inside one and two. Count still at one and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Back to Murphy, not in time, and they'll get just the one out. McMahon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's in there for strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The set and the 1 1. Liner toward right center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. In to score from third is the tying run. It's a 4 4 game. Coming to the plate now, Rhino Al Tapia. Pass. And he could the give his guys an early lead Rhino. if he can come through here. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. In the dirt, and now let's see. Goes to third with it, and he nails him at third. Great throw. Stepping into the box, James McCann, Way as we go. move on Where to the bottom of inning number three. The catcher, James. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. 1 and 2 to the White Sox catcher. 
swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Stepping into the box, Matt Skoll. No he worked a walk and came around there. to score in his first Matt. trip in this game. Goal. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. And he takes ball one. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. A ball and two strikes. That's breaking ball called just a That's bit low. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Popped him up. Arenado shading to his right. One away. So stepping in, Yomer Sanchez. No 0 for 1 for him here in Second this baseman. one. Paolo. Dante. First pitch of the at bat. And that one got a piece of him. Now at the plate, Adam Engel. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Adam Engel. He's set. Here it comes. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Pause. Now the pitch. Chopper foul. The next 0-2. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. Throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Line toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. McCann rounds third and is digging for the plate. And that'll score the go-ahead run from second to make it 5-4. to four. Now back to the top well, of the lineup, that. stepping right in, Leori Garcia. Leori. He's got runners at the corners Garcia. here with only one guy. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulls the string on that one, one strike. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Nope. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. Fly ball out toward left center field. And the Sox keep pouring it on. This is extra bases as well. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. Safe at the play. And it is now a 7-4 game. James Pazos is going to come on no to batter, pitch here, seven. and in just the third inning, you Good have stop. to think he'll be asked here. to eat some innings. Anderson. Tim Anderson will be his first assignment, and he's got a tough spot here with the runner at third and only one gone. from the stretch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Oh and one, here it comes. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. 
That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Waiting on it is Dahl, and the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score Calvin. from third. That makes it an 8-4 to four ball game. Okay. Up for you. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Down and in here. One ball, no strikes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Pazos, the former Seattle Mariner. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Still a ball and two strikes. Hard sinker misses two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Digging in, Rymel Tapia. He'll try to get it we going here to begin the fourth. The Lots of baseball left Run in this ball. one as we're still oh, early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now at the plate, Yonder Alonso. Now He's 0 for 1 thus far. Yonder Alonso. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, Ball one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle oh, in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Moncada might try to make a play on it. The 2-1 home. Is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Tony Walters is on deck. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. So striding forward now, Tony Walters. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. First offering on its way. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. This is absolutely a huge spot right here. They have to find a way to get something out of this half inning. I don't care if it's one run or two runs. You have to find a way to at least give yourself a little shot of confidence that you can get back into this one. Now the one and one pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it. Garcia looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Ready for another shot now. now Charlie Blackman. He's 0 for 2 oh. thus far in this one. What? He's ready. Here's the first offering. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with one away. Trevor Story. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In there, strike one. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off 1-2. and two. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Now so he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Trevor Story is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well, he needed to get ahead, and he does with the fastball. It's 0-1. 
Fastball called for strike two. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Johan Moncada. He flew out in his last at bat. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Here's the 1-0. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. One. One A bouncer up the middle. Story scoops it up, and that's out number one. Digging in once again, Eloy Jimenez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. McMahon's got it. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. How about it? But Ready Redford. once again, James Jay. McCann. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Good pitch to hit. A sinker down the chute, but it's taken for a strike. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. And a full count for James McCann, three balls and two strikes. Matt Skoll would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Hard hit ball to second. McMahon fields it cleanly. Throw to Murphy. He'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Nolan Arenado. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Whoa. Didn't quite yeah. catch the zone there. Ball one. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Two, two, one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So the base is empty here with one away. The and up next, postseason record holder Daniel, Daniel Murphy. Murphy. First pitch coming. Here it is. Slider laid off for a ball. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Now the one and one pitch. Is looked at for oh, ball number awesome. two.
not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Line drive to center field, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Jose Ruiz, the batter, a six-foot-one-inch right-hander, will be the one to get the call from Ryan. the bullpen here. McMahon, your attention, please. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 66, Jose Ruiz. So two are gone in the Rockies' half of the fifth, and Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, no balls and a strike. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Up with it, McCann. And that ends the inning. At the plate, Matt Skoll. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder. And thus, the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0 is a sinker that misses for a ball. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. 3-0 and oh now. Well, ball three here. Hey, and the White Sox would love to start it in and get that leadoff guy on. They'd love to get a leadoff walk right here. Three Aye. balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff ball, hitter. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count, three and two. Yank fouled off to the right. The three two one more time too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact and that misses ball four now it's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway the batter number five stepping in Gilmer Sanchez last time up he was hit by a pitch yeah Matty you're not lying last time up squared right in the back hopefully it doesn't stiffen up I want to see if he can get through something right here no balls in one strike oh and this one ran in and got him and that's twice now he's been hit in this one Digging in, Adam Engel singled home a run in his last time up. Yeah, and they take another Engel. single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. One and O oh, the count. He's ready. Here's the one O. Oh. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Two and one now. Hitter scout now. Here's the two and one. Just low that time with the heavy sinker as it's ruled ball three. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Right fielder. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Larry Garcia. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. First offering on its way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Line toward right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. One run is scored.
Striding in once again, no Tim Anderson seven. earned himself First an RBI stop. with a sack Here. fly his last time at the play. Yeah, and what do you know, Matty? Situation presents itself again. Don't try and do too much. Look for something elevated and drive it into the outfield. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. down the first baseline but this will be a foul ball and it's still 0 and 2 here comes another 0 2 and a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out so here's the now slugging first baseman, first baseman Jose Abreu now Jose. we'll see if he can I'll deliver here runner still at second and third with one away now first pitch of the at bat on its way nope. High that time with the slider taken for a ball. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Digging in the switch now hitter, Johan Moncada. He was a ground out Go victim on. last time up. Moncada. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0-1. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Count now a ball and a strike. And a slider misses here, two balls and a strike. That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Into the box now, Rymel Tapia. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. The center fielder. Rymo Tapia. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Fastball oh, runs off the outside. It's 1-1. One and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. The one-two is taken for ball two. He pulls this one into right. Garcia is there, one away. Digging in now to batting. try it again. Jessica Yonder Alonso. It Yonder. was a walk in his Alonso. last trip. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Two balls, no Whoa, strikes. The count of the Rockies' designated hitter. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at, guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Four runs, eight hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Up next for That'll Colorado. bring up Tony Walters. Oh, for two Tony for him to this point. Walter. First pitch coming, here it is. Now Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and oh.
Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. But an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Striding in, Emo Jimenez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The left fielder, number 74. First pitch of the at bat. At the ball. First pitch is a sinker too oh, low, 1 0. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2 0. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Down low, and the plot thickens here 3 0. James McCann waits on deck. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's gone as they add still another. Digging in now, James McCann. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. McCann. First pitch on its way. Hit hard on the ground to the right. McMahon gathers it in. A dive. He's got it. It's in time. Next to be the designated hitter, the Matt designated Skoll. Hitter. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here comes the first pitch. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. And there's ball one. Hit out towards second. A dive, and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here, as despite a great effort that time, they won't get no it out on the play. Ready man. now for the White Sox. Yomer Sanchez comes Sanchez. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Right there for strike one. Hey, that's got to throw the batter's game plan off a little bit. He thinks sinker's coming. Double play situation. He gets the ordinary fastball. He's got to be thinking what's coming next. Waiting on it is Dahl. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Adam Engel. It was a the walk in his last trip. Adam Engel. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw to Murphy. He'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Back here at Rogers Center in Toronto. White Sox on top in this one. But before we get out to the seventh, let's take a look at our game summary through the first six. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the play, Charlie Blackman. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here's the pitch. And he lays off here as well. It's 2 0 now to the Colorado right fielder. Two balls and a strike. I know we got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So striding in, Trevor Story. He's working on a one for three thus far.
First delivery to him on the way. Fastball on the first pitch and it's taken for strike one. A ball and a strike to Trevor Story. Swings through it for strike number two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Story is retired, and there's one away. Now batting. Left field. In now for Colorado, David, David Dahl. Dahl. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the at bat. And it's fouled away. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Garcia will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled down the line. Played on the backhand. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Number 54 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 54. Garcia will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Garcia. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In on the hands of it with the fastball. It's 1-0. and Fastball misses away here. It's 2-0. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a three zero count. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Blackman going back, and it's gone as they add still another. Ready for another chance? Tim Anderson, batter, who was sat seven. down on strikes Good in his stop. last at-bat. Yeah. yeah, he's got to put that one behind Anderson. him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Whoa, Inside here. with the fastball, it's 1-0. and There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Now the one and one pitch. Waves Zero. and misses for strike number two. The count is one and two. Fastball ah. called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping now in and ready for another shot, Jose base. Abreu, Jose. who comes into this appearance Abreu. in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Oh, and he falls there. behind now, 2-0. Oh. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2-0. Oh. It's no wonder why they're up seven. Line to the right side. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. Stepping up to the plate, now Johan Moncada. One in, basement. one out, and no one on here in the inning. Moncada. 
first offering on its way. That's a, ball. a ball and no strikes. Left side, but well foul. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Dahl. Two down. So two away here is the Sox bat in the seventh. Yeah, and up next, Double, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fastball here too low, and it's 1-0. Not close. It's 2-0. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Two and one to count. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. At the plate, Daniel Murphy. He'll start us off in the eighth. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, of it. You know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what oh, happens when that yeah. happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. The 2-1 home. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Hit hard down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. Ball hit on the ground for Anderson at short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Scrambling in for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now here's the pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Fastball just missed above the zone. Three and 0 now. Rymel Tapia is on deck. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Three and two. Five runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Settling in now, Rymel Tapia. Rymel Tapia. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side.
the 0-1 delivery. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1-1. One and one. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Sliced hard down the left field line. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. He'll get it into second. Now to the plate, Yonder Alonso. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. From the belt, the pitch just off the outside, and it's 1 0. Pulled toward right center field, calling for it. Engel. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Ready now, James McCann. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. The catcher, James McCann. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Line hard. Foul. So one one is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Now batter. Striding forward hitter. now is the DH, Matt, Matt Skoll. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The 0-1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ballgame. Stepping in, Yomer Sanchez. No it was Number a flyout for him Second in his last man. trip. Sanchez. From the stretch. Nope. Lays off 1 0. Ah. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. 1 and 1. The one two is taken down and in for a ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now with the plate, Adam Engel. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Popped him up. Walters is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So now coming back. to the plate, Leori Garcia. And he's Leori. got the tough ones out of the way. Yeah. Only a single, and he'll have the cycle. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. One ball, one strike to count. McCann on second, Skoll at first, two out in the inning. The 
one, two. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through into left, a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two Double guns. Number seven. Stepping up now, Tim Anderson. Yeah. It was a backwards Anderson. K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Swing and a ground ball and this should get him out of it. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Jay Spry comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 57. Jake. Standing in, Tony Walters. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Heading out towards shallow right. Garcia is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Digging in and looking for more, Charlie Blackman. There was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at-bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. On the first, and the Rockies are now down to their final out of the game. The Rockies down to their final out now. And then to hit next, the power-hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. High and deep down the left field line. And they can't run it down. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch that tied them up in knots. And the ball game is over. Time of the ball game, four hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.